Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today another video for the RAV4 Prime, but it's gonna be a quick one. It's uh, about the bike rack I bought. So I ended up getting a bike rack from Costco, a pretty cheap one. Uh, I believe it was uh, $160 Canadian. Uh, we don't bike that much. Uh, I mean, we do bike, but I mean, we don't actually bring our bikes, you know, pretty far with the car. Uh, but we still love to sometimes explore different parks in Quebec here, so different national parks. Uh, and biking there is, uh, is pretty amazing in these uh, different parks. So, so I'm going to show you a little bit what kind of style I bought, which is the platform style uh, for two bikes. And yeah, I'm going give to give you a quick tour on uh, how to put it on, put on the bikes and uh, what it looks like. So let's get to it. So this is the sports rack from Costco. So it is, I believe, um, one and a half inch, but you know, it comes with the two inch adapter. And so it's perfect for the Toyota uh, OEM hitch. And you also have here a big screw here, uh, which you have to use a 19 millimeter. Um, so this is for the anti-wobble. So as you can see here, this one does not move at all. It's only this, these parts that shake, but this one's pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. So let me show you how to actually put your bikes on this. So let me show you how do you actually put the, the bikes on. Fairly easy. So you want to take this off first. Put your first bike. This comes down. Now you're ready for your second bike. That's it. You do have Velcros here. You want to use those to secure your retires. And you want to do this on all four tires. So here's a closer shot of the Velcros. As you can see, uh, they're very easy to actually put them on. Let me try with one hand here. So you loop it around here first. And then you just pull it a little more. There you go. That's how it stays. And you do the same thing on the other tires, the front and the back. So you do have a lock here that you can use to lock the bikes if you want. So it comes with the little key here. So that's very very practical. Let's say you want to go to the store and you want to leave the bikes, just you know wrap around here and you lock it back here. So very secure on this. And it's very practical as well because it's just outside and you can just, you know, take it out. Uh, and you also have a lock right here on the hitch itself. So this one just locks after you put in the wobble, anti-wobble uh, screw and same system here. So you have this little key here, have access to it. So you can still open the hatch, but the bikes should not be on the on the actual rack when if you want to open it and the only way to do it is bringing this down so once you have this down you have all the clearance you need to open 
uh, the rear hatch. Here you go. I know it's not practical for uh, most people, uh, but for my use case, this is perfect. I rarely have to go in the back. So once the bikes are loaded, I don't have to go in the back. I, or if I want anything, I can reach it from uh, the rear seat. Um, and I know some racks, you can actually incline this. Um, so those ones, you know, uh, would be okay if you want to open the rear hatch. But this one doesn't um, doesn't incline to the back. So the only one, the only thing that inclines is this part here. That's it, folks. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did like it, please don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't watched it yet, I made a lot of other videos for the RAV4 Prime. So how to test your batteries, how to actually uh, a little bit of my five months experience uh, and my takeover on the RAV4 Prime. I also do a complete walk around of the XSC model as well, which is the one I have. Uh, so don't hesitate if you have any comments or suggestions of other videos I should be doing, please write them below and uh, I'll see you next time.